So as you can see, we got that MIB Internationals, Alien Twins, number 741. Um, a little bit of the backs, the back, should I say, uh, art. Uh, Agent H, Agent M, Pawnee, and the Alien Twins. Um, there's only one Alien Twins on the front of the box, which is kind of crazy because this this is a two-in-one Funko Pop. Uh, I've never seen a Funko Pop like this. I don't know if it's been done before, but for me, this was the first that I've uh, ever seen uh, two characters in one Funko Pop. So it was definitely a, a must-have, a pickup. Um, I heard it wasn't supposed to release until around June, but like I said, I was in GameStop just on a regular hunt and ended up seeing it and was like, wait a minute. Yo, is that for sale? And he was like, yeah. And it was only four. It was only the four that you see right there on the back of the box. And from that moment on, I just had to pick that up. So I definitely had to get this one. Um, I don't know if anybody's a fan of the MIB series. The first two, um, I pretty much thought they could have stopped there. I think it's only two, right? It might be, it might be two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's only two. That's Will Smith and... I can't really think of the white guy's name right now, but um, I call him Wrinkle Face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but um, dope, dope, dope movie, dope actors. But it seems like this is not a continuation of that story, but it could be a continuation of the agency, obviously, because it's men in black. But uh, they went with the female. Um, it's Shorty from, where is she from? She's from Ragnarok? Yeah, I think she's from Thor Ragnarok and something else. Can't think right now, but um, yeah, and it looks like it's gonna be good. Like I said, once I seen the trailer and I saw these alien twins on that trailer, I knew right then I was like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna have to go see this. Cause before that, I can't say I was really sold as far as what I saw. But like I said, it's a dope Funko Pop. Definitely should pick it up if you get a chance. Let's get this drain out the box and let's just see how the two for one Funko Pop looks. And now out the box, you can see the detail, the detail and the, the, the basically two for one. It is definitely two Funko Pops in one. Um, they kind of share a body, obviously in a sense, Siamese in a sense. Um, but from the detail, from the hair, down to the arms, they have one, you know what I'm saying, with his hands out, both of his hands out, should I say. Different outfits on both. It sort of like has a different shade. This guy has his hand out. It looks like he's kind of like holding a damn Oreo in a sense, but it's not. Uh, but uh, the details on him is crazy. The different shades in clothing, the different shades in, um, you know, in uh, uh, outfits. As you can see right there, one looks like he has almost like it has a beard, and the other one looks clean shave. Not really too much going on right there with the facial one has long hair the other one doesn't like it's just the way they uh was able to combine two Funko Pops that are damn near identical but yet still make it one solid pop is pretty dope and like I said I've never seen this before done so if anybody else has please leave down in the comment section and let me know um what other Funko Pops was done like this with the two in one because I definitely definitely would want to pick that up um, on my Funko Pop hunt for this drink, and I wasn't hunting for this, to, you know what I'm saying, to be specific, I was actually just looking for anything extra as far as Muhammad Ali's or just really uh, uh, Babe Ruth's or, you know what I'm saying, at the time I was in GameStop, so I was just trying to pick up anything extras that I could scoop up, um, you know, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, if I stumbled across a Jordan, just, just random, random times when I'm just in, in, in GameStop. But um, happened to pick this up, but the box was definitely uh, a little bit messed up. Had some glue stains on the front, uh, a little bit of blemishes, a little bit dinged up. So with that, this one will definitely be up for a giveaway. And um, I'm probably going to shoot like a little video just giving my background and, you know what I'm saying, in this Funko life. Because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people are jumping in the Funko lane and this is no shot to them. But uh, a lot of people don't really, or should I say necessarily, haven't really been collecting like that. And that's dope. I like that everybody's starting to get into this, uh, into the Funko shit. Because, I mean, we all know we, we, we it, it, it's very similar to sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to be shooting a video, you know, just talking about the similarities and the differences um, between Funko collecting and sneaker collecting. Or, you know what I'm saying, being a Funko head or a sneaker head. Like, that, like, let's say it like that. The pros and the cons, in a sense. But... Um, yeah, this definitely will be up for a giveaway, so you're going to have to stay tuned. 
to uh, check out that video. Um, I will tell you this, you will definitely have to be subscribed to the channel. Um, along with a couple of other people that you're gonna have to be subscribed to but once again I'll do that video uh, I probably drop that if not after this probably a little bit later on um but uh let me know how y'all think about the new setup is a good uh, you know what I'm saying is it good details being shown on the phone calls let me know if y'all really feeling how how I'm shooting this right now and um, yeah I'm a little bit down on technology right now the laptop is definitely uh, on the uh, on the blink so I'm on the grind right now trying to get back up on that and uh really try to bring y'all some 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 dope Funko quality. But um y'all already know it's your boy Retro Young, your neighborhood Funko bro. Funk yo pops. Bang bang. <laughs>